This is a program that's designed for family members to begin using when a loved one enters the primary phase of a drug or alcohol treatment program. It consists of four modules. Module 1 starts off with a thorough presentation on substance use disorder. So right out of the gate, we're going to answer the question, what does it mean when we say that someone has a drug problem? There's a lot of confusion about the answer to that question, and that confusion can end up causing a lot of problems in treatment. But this module specifically addresses some of the areas where we tend to see a lot of misinformation, misperceptions, or just flat-out denial about what it means to have a problem. And by getting everybody on the same page, in other words, when you're learning the same thing that the clients are learning, it levels the conversation and creates alignment between you, the client, and the treatment team. And that's the straightest path to removing some of the most common obstacles we see in treatment these days with regard to power struggles and arguments, especially when it comes to young people. Module 2 then shifts over into setting the stage for treatment success by giving you the kind of tools that are going to increase your effectiveness with regard to treatment support. And that starts with learning how to set boundaries that are going to restore family stability and allow you to participate in treatment from a position of control. The premise of Rehab Works is that there's a lot the family can do that will ultimately give your loved one the best chance for treatment success. And this is where we're going to start showing you what that is. Then in Module 3, we'll get into the nitty-gritty of looking at exactly what goes into developing an effective recovery plan. Using the analogy that we're building a foundation for recovery, we talk about some of the most common areas where it's easy to end up with cracks in the foundation. And we don't want cracks in the foundation. Because in this business, little cracks can turn into big cracks real quick. And when someone relapses, it's usually pretty easy to look back and see where the cracks were. We want that foundation to be as solid as possible, and Module 3 is where we're going to show you what that looks like. Module 4 is where we talk about how addiction affects the entire family. We'll look at codependency, what Al-Anon is all about, and how important the concept of family recovery is for treatment success. We'll also start looking at the bigger picture with regard to defining treatment success. It gives you some tools for monitoring your progress and emphasizes the importance of maintaining this on an ongoing basis. So as far as how long it takes to complete the course, there's a couple things to consider here. You have access to the course website for three months. So technically, you could divvy up the modules equally, spend three weeks on each module, and complete the course in 12 weeks. However, it's important to keep in mind that the course is designed to be delivered during the primary phase of treatment. And that means there could be a lot of variables as far as how long that's going to last. So regardless of whether the client's going to be in treatment for three weeks or three months, to make this the most effective, it's got to be sort of front-end intensive. You want to stay a step ahead of this treatment process. You want to know what's coming. You want to know how to respond to situations when they arise. And you want to be prepared for moving forward. The bottom line is you should complete Modules 1 through 3 as quickly as possible. Module 1 only takes an hour, so you can easily get that done and be well into Module 2 within your first week of treatment. And just by doing that, that's going to give you a great head start towards a really productive treatment experience. Module 4, then, is designed to be a little more extended as it helps you keep your head in the process and reinforces that you don't just do this for a few weeks and then go back to not thinking about it anymore. Remember, one of the biggest barriers to treatment success is not hanging in there for as long as it takes to really make sure this is solid.